think people have been painting on walls since the beginning of time, since the beginning of people. It's just as natural to paint on walls as it is to sing in public or to perform in public. It's really just an expression where you're sharing uh, your inspiration and your passions, your ideas with, with the audience at large. So I think that people are just more embracing of it now and it's starting to make its way into the mainstream where you're allowed to see it in these ground spaces. But I think it's been around for years. And when I look at the artists that I've looked up to that have helped me become a muralist over my lifetime, and I'm sure a lot of the other artists who participate in our competition have looked up to, um, it's just been a really flourishing industry. So we've had a lot of inspiration. Graffiti pretty much has been like the black sheep or the bastardized child of the four elements of hip hop. Graffiti or spray can art has been going into galleries since, you know, the late 70s or early 80s with Patty Astor, you know, all the folks in New York City um, in galleries. And they, I think, were the most successful because they were the first to actually put spray can art into a gallery. Now it's very, I think it's very difficult for anybody to sell any type of lettering or graffiti lettering. Um, in galleries because a lot of people that don't know too much about letters or graffiti, they just don't understand it. The word today is uh, very present for me here in, here in uh, the Bay. The word is dream. D R E. My buddy Vogue, who did this painting, had once said, back in the day, in the 80s, if kids wanted to see you paint, let's just meet me over at the train tracks, whether it be Emeryville or Fruitvale, and just come out and see me paint, you'll see me painting. Or if you want to find me, find me at the train tracks. Now, because of police or city officials, you, can, you can't go to the train tracks and actually see people paint, because it's illegal to do that. Doing the graffiti battle for the Life is Living Festival allows and ties into allowing the community to actually see a lot of these graffiti artists or spray can artists because normally they will have a very difficult time trying to find us um, exhibiting or doing live painting. That's right. Letting the artists work with the community so that the appropriate art is in that community, that's something different. It ties people together, it brings great visual art for communities and it also passes the torch on to, to youth to teach them about how, not only like how to do art but how to you know create art with statements that are appropriate for their communities. Bay Area Now.